ഹൈ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് ഡോക്ടർ ഫ്രാൻസിസ് കാർഡിയോളജി സ്പെഷ്യലിസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് അബീർ മെഡിക്കൽ സെൻറ്റർ അബു ഹാമൂർ ദോഹ ഐ എം എൻ ഇന്ത്യൻ ഡോക്ടർ ഹു ഇസ് പ്രാക്ടീസിങ് ഇൻ ദിസ് ഫീൽഡ് ഫോർ ട്വൻറ്റി ടു ഇയേഴ്സ് ആസ് യു അവേ ദ ഇൻസിഡൻസ് ഓഫ് ഹാർട്ട് ഡിസീസ് ആൻഡ് ഹാർട്ട് അറ്റാക്സ് ഹാവ് ഇൻക്രീസ് എക്സ്പെണൻഷ്യലി ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് ടു ഡിക്കേറ്റ്സ് ഹാർട്ട് അറ്റാക്സ് വിച്ച് പ്രീവിയസ്ലി യൂസ് ടു എഫക്ട് ദ എൽഡേർലി പോപ്പുലേഷൻ ഇസ് commonly seen among the young people also what are the reasons behind this demographic change let us look into them first you find that the young generation now are not as active as the older generation the older generation while they were young used to do a lot of manual labor they had to walk long distances and they used to play in the evening hours the second change is the change in the dietary habits previously people used to take homemade foods now we have a lot of options you can dine out you can order food from restaurants you have a lot of options like fast foods you have a lot of junk foods available in the market then a lot of snacks out of bakery items pastries everything is available and soft drinks are used by many youngsters so all this dietary changes has produced a lot of damage to them the third thing is the increased stress among the youngsters you have a lot of work related stress you have stress in your family there is financial stress then another risk factor is smoking so all this inactive lifestyle altered food habits all these have resulted in obesity among the youngsters obesity is the start of various diseases from obesity you develop cholesterol disease you develop hypertension you develop diabetes so once a person who is obese develops these diseases it is known as metabolic syndrome so from this obesity and metabolic syndrome the person develops heart disease and heart attack so how do you diagnose heart disease what are its symptoms the early symptoms of heart disease is quite subtle it could be some exertional breathlessness or some chest tightness when you are walking fast or climbing stairs or it could be some burning central chest pain or you can have some pain in the arms in the neck in the shoulders or you can have exertional fatigue exertional palpitations so these are the early symptoms so how do you diagnose heart disease for that you need to consult a doctor who will ask you regarding the symptoms the doctor may ask for a chest x ray which will show whether the heart is dilated whether any of these chambers are dilated the doctor may ask for an ecg which is a representation of the electrical activation of the heart then the doctor may request for an echocardiogram by which you can see the chambers of the heart whether they are functioning normally in some people the doctor may request for a treadmill examination which is the stress ecg here the person is made to walk on a treadmill and the ecg is recorded while during the test the doctor sees what is the heart rate response what is the bp response what is the functional capacity of the person whether there there are any changes in ecg during the test from that the probability of heart disease is assessed in people who have palpitations the doctor may order for a holter test this test is a 24 hour 
to 48 hour ecg test so by using this battery of test a doctor can assess your risk profile as well as the probability of you having a heart disease so you can see how it starts it starts from an inactive lifestyle from an altered dietary habits going on to obesity to metabolic syndrome and leading on to heart disease and heart attacks i would request all people above the age of 30 to undergo a cardiac evaluation and assessment of your cardiac risk profile by doing the test these tests you can find out whether you are having any risk factor for heart disease and whether you are prone for heart attack if any test is positive appropriate action can be taken so that you can continue to lead a normal life thank you